you're looking for a last minute Valentine's Day gift, a special treat with vanilla might be just what you need. I love vanilla, but vanilla bean prices have soared because of a shortage in Madagascar. The island country has more than three quarters of the world's vanilla fields. Ben Tracy is at a candy store in Hollywood to show us how many treats we love are becoming a lot more expensive. Ben, good morning. Good morning. So when it comes to vanilla, nobody wants artificial flavor. They want the real thing. So at this candy store in Hollywood, all their chocolate bars use real vanilla. Even Nestle has switched to the real thing in their famous crunch bar. But now there is a shortage of this sweet ingredient, and that has become a bitter pill for a lot of businesses to swallow. Do you sell a lot of vanilla ice cream? It's our number one seller. At Mother Moo Creamery in Sierra Madre, California, Vanilla ice cream is showered with sprinkles, blended with brownies, and rolling in root beer. Its appeal is pretty simple. Because I like it. Owner Karen Clemens says it's all about the ingredients. And how important is that Madagascar vanilla? My vanilla ice cream would not be the same without it. Yet these days, she's losing money on every scoop. Vanilla has surpassed dairy as her biggest cost. So do you think people know when they're ordering this that this is almost like the delicacy of the ice cream shop? No, they don't. No, they have absolutely no idea. The price she pays for a gallon of organic vanilla extract has nearly quadrupled since she first opened her doors five years ago. When something goes from $100 to $400, what does that mean to your bottom line? <laughs> well, I just kind of hope that we were going to make it through the season. 79% of the world's vanilla fields are in Madagascar. A shortage there has helped drive up the cost of vanilla beans from about $11 per pound in 2011 to nearly 200 bucks by the end of 2016. At this price point, is the vanilla industry sustainable? No. We manufacture over 200 types of vanilla. Josephine Lockhead and her husband Don run Cook Flavoring Company. Most of their business here is vanilla. She shot this video in December during a trip to Madagascar to survey the vanilla crops. Vanilla farming is a labor-intensive process. Beans grow on orchids. Each one is pollinated by hand. Vanilla is not a product where you can go out and get it tomorrow. It takes three years for that vine to produce a vanilla bean. The market is notoriously unstable. Supply problems caused vanilla bean prices to spike in 2003 before crashing the next year. Shipments of vanilla once again cost a small fortune. Probably $100,000 of vanilla. This right is here. worth $100,000? Yep, $100,000. And a couple years ago it would have been worth? It would have been worth probably $1,000. That's, That's for high quality beans, which get harder to find as the price goes up. Many farmers harvest the beans before they fully mature, worried thieves will steal them because they're so valuable. The question for businesses is whether they keep buying at high prices or wait for the inevitable crash. It's going to come down and nobody knows. That's the big question mark. Nobody knows when or how quickly. Karen Clemens is having to raise prices at her store. And while she won't put artificial vanilla in her ice cream, she did start using it in her waffle cones. It's just what I do. It's what I believe in. And to even introduce an artificial vanilla in my store just really was kind of, it broke my heart. The good news is the vanilla crop in Madagascar appears to be in good shape this year, and that should eventually increase the supply. And speaking of supply, the folks here at this candy store made some custom chocolate bars for us. They gave us a couple, so I think we can part with one and send it out to New York for you guys. All right, Ben. He's so thank generous. You. <laughs> <laughs> one didn't... candy bar for the three of us to share. Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Happy Valentine's yeah. Day. There was I a didn't couple. know this, but vanilla is the second most expensive spice yeah. after saffron. That's surprising. Yeah. Me too. And it comes from orchids. Well, no artificial vanilla. Yeah. Got to do the right. I agree. Yes, so I agree. Good. Love that. I agree with that.